All right. I don't know. Senator Roger Marshall, the Kansas uh, Republican senator, physician uh, by training, I might point out, OBGYN, has any leisure suits. He's probably too young for that, but I wouldn't get rid of them just yet, Senator. Very good to have you. Thank you for joining us. Neil, great to be with you. I don't have any leisure suits uh, available, but I did wear one back to my senior year in high school to our prom. <laughs> yeah, that, that, yeah. I, I think we might have been at the same prom. Senator, you know, it's interesting here when we look at this oil situation, and the one thing I do notice, and maybe owing to my age, sir, is that the more things change, the more we kind of uh, realize they don't change. OPEC, once again, now might have caught itself doing what it was doing in the 70s, uh, you know, as little as they could to ease the oil pressure on, on folks across the globe, uh, trying to extract the most pound of flesh they could. That's when they were just coming together as a cartel, particularly in the 70s, early 70s. But now realizing that worldwide demand is falling dramatically and that we could see a global slowdown. Well, they contributed to that, didn't they? You know, absolutely. So th this is what happens, though, when we empower other countries to control our future. Uh, as you know, Neil, I grew up in the oil patch. I'm still around it. The oil patch needs certainty. For us to go out and invest hundreds of millions, billions of dollars, we need certainty. So we've empowered OPEC. This is all because of the uh, results of Joe Biden's policies. And yes, OPEC's going to take advantage of this. That's what businesses do. When you can control this much of the market, when a America is, is, has our hand out begging for oil right now. This is where we are today. You know, um, I'm just wondering now, you could look at uh, OPEC itself like uh, an Apple, I guess, on steroids. Apple, the company I'm talking about. Uh, okay. if, if we see European regulators and even those in the U.S. looking at uh, antitrust actions against big tech names like Apple, then why can't we apply the same standards to OPEC and OPEC plus countries? What do you think? Well, Neil, I, th I think we can, but that's going to take months and years to solve this problem. And you know they've got more lawyers than, than we do as well. So whenever there's big issues like this, it gets tied up in court. We can solve this problem ourselves if the Biden administration would give us certainty, the certainty we need to get to, to call the EPA watchdogs off on us a little bit, quit teasing us with the opportunity to buy more leases and then taking away from from us as well. In fact, so they're doing I, just the latter, right, Senator? I mean, this yeah. plan right now to take away offshore oil lease sales, the Gulf of Mexico, yes. Alaska, elsewhere. Uh, only a few weeks ago, they were opening a tiny bit of federal lands to that. I'm just wondering what prompted this move, because uh, out of the blue, it came out of the blue with very little warning. Yeah, Neil, and again, this is the uncertainty that they're creating. Again, your listeners know this. We can't go out and find people to give us millions of dollars to invest in something as big as this drilling in Alaska would take. So it's out, they, they tease us with it, they take it away from us, and you waste all this time on permitting, and then the EPA stops you at another step. So this, this uh, administration has done an incredible job of creating the uncertainty and styming American energy. All right, Senator Roger Marshall, very good catching up with you. Uh, don't throw away that leisure suit. Maybe the next visit. You put yours on, I'll put mine on, and the viewers will click away. Um, thank you, Senator. Very good seeing you.